back guys to this nine tutorial navigation made easy with a simple navbar in this tutorial we are going to be creating a very simple navbar using the nav ul li and e html elements this navbar can serve as a template for your future complex navbars we are also going to link this navbar to a website that has many pages so that when the user clicks on a particular link on the navbar it loads the corresponding page we get this cool background color that indicates to the user the current page on which it is. So let's get into code and start by building the simple navbar. So I just created a new project in which we are going to create a simple navbar. We just have the index.html and we can start now if we put the exclamation enter gives us a boilerplate from which we can start programming the navbar. So if you just save and take a look in our browser we see that it's just a simple empty web page with we document as the title of the page and that's what we have here so in the body the first thing we are going to have here is the nav as we saw in the previous tutorial where we we're talking of the semantic tags in html5 we saw that the nav html element is used when you want to put in navigation links for the different pages on the website so it's a semantic tag that helps the browser know that navigation links are going to be present here so we have enough the then we have we can now use an unordered list so an unordered list is another html element that is used when you want to have related content in a list format so we are going to have an unordered list and inside unordered list we use list items li's and on an unordered list usually has many list items in this case let's have four and these are the different items in this unordered list the items in this case are going to be the links for the different pages on our website so we are going to use the A element, the anchor element for the different links. We can call this first link home. Create another link, which we call HTML. Then we we'll create another link, which we are going to call CSS. Another link, which we are going to call JavaScript. So these are the different four links which are going to be inside uh, on other list. And if we save, so we just see that we have the four links on our web page. And these links are actually bulleted. These different bullet points here are because they are actually link it they are actually list items. So all LIs in an on other list have this bullet, these dots you see here. So the first thing we are going to do is styling it. We need to move these bullets at the left. So we are going to do styling inline, as we saw in the previous tutorial where we were explaining how the different ways in which CSS can be applied to a page. We saw that one of them is to use the style, the style HTML element in the head, and we can put the different styles in the head here. So what we are going to be targeting here is the, the UL in the nav. So we are going to go into the nav, get the UL, and we want to apply a list style. Of noon because here we have the nav we have the ul and we have the li's so we want the li's in this ul to have a list style type of noon so we are going to come in here and give it a list style type of instead of this we are going to give it a value of noon and if we save we see that the different bullet points no longer have. so the next we want to do is for these different these items to stand next one after the other. That's one them to stand horizontally and so vertically. So the thing we have to do is to come to the nav and we want to give the nav li elements, nav ul, the li is inside the ul. We want to give them a display of inline block. Inline block. And if we save, we see that they are now one after the other. The issue now here is the, the different anchor elements are underlined. So we want to give you a text decoration of moon. So all the anchor elements should not have this decoration this underlying equation so what we are going to do is to come here in the nav inside the ul inside the li in the anchor elements we want to give them the text the equation of none and if we save we now see that the underlying is no more present the thing is that the nav now is not actually looking like a nav bar because we need to make it have that background color around it so what we are going to do is to come now here and we are going to target the nav, target the nav, and give it a background color of, let's just take this color and see. So we now see that the nav has at least a background color around it. 
and it's already starting to take shape. So you want to give some space around these different list items. You want space to be around the different list items. So what we are going to do is to give some padding for each of these list items. So we are going to come to the list items and give them a padding. Give each of them a padding. Let's just give a value of this. Try 10 pixels and see what it looks like. So giving them a padding of 10 pixels, you see that it looks a lot better. We get this cool padding around it. So what we want now is we want the selected anchor element, the selected list item, so I have the background color around it so that I can distinguish it from the other elements which are not selected. And what we can do to get that effect is to come to each list item, the list item we want to be currently selected. So we can give this list item a class of selected. Selected. So what happens is normally when you click on any link in a navigation, it's going to give that link a class of selected, that list item a class of selected. So we're just giving this li. A class of selected to mean that they initially selected this item and you can now style the li with the class of selected so that any li which is selected gets that class of selected and gets that style so we can have enough get enough grab enough ul and li dot selected means the li with the class of selected i want to give it the background the background color of let's just see light color and we see if you see that this face li has a background color of coral it's because it's the currently selected li if we select any other li it's going to get that color so things have started taking shape we want to change the color of this text to be black so we can come to the anchor element it different the color of the text in the anchor element to be black you see we get the color of black and we want the border videos to be a bit somehow rounder so we want this nav bar which has this background color to have a border videos so I'm going to come to the nav bar and give the border, border videos of let's say five pixels. And we have now the border videos around the nav bar of five pixels. So we're already done with the simple nav bar. What we have to do now is to link it up, hook it up with our existing website and see how things are, are working. So I've gone ahead and opened this other project we had created in the previous tutorial. So in that tutorial, we had a website with the navigation links spread across the different pages. And it was really complex because we just have a website here. And to move to the next page, we have to click on this link, index.html. It takes us to the HTML page. We can click to go back to the main page. Then we can click on about CSS to go to the, to the CSS page. Given that we've learned how to create this navbar, we are going to see how we can take this navbar and add to this our website so that it has a better navigation. We are going to add the navbar to the top of the website. And we can see it on all the pages. And on clicking on the different links, it takes us to the different pages. And we are going to see that it's, it's a better user experience. And th this is the code for, for the website I just showed you. So we have the, the main page first of all, which is the index.html. And here are the links we saw at the bottom of the page. The links to the HTML, CSS, and to Google. This one is just a test link. You can even take out this other link. It's not useful for the moment. So we, these are the main links to the HTML, CSS page. We also have the other pages of the website, which are the CSS and the HTML, the CSS and the HTML page. So if we take a look in the browser, we see that these links are at the bottom of the page. These links to the other page. So if you take a look, we see that these are the links to HTML and CSS and at the bottom of the page, as you see here. On the other pages as well, the links to go back, this other link to go back to the home page, in the HTML and the CSS page are at the bottom. So if we come to the HTML page, see that the link to go back is at the bottom. You go back then if you come to the css page as well navigate to the css page so that the link to go back is at the bottom we have to create a navbar at the top which is going to give a better user experience so what we are going to do is we are going to come to this our other web this our simple navbar this is the code for the navbar we just created we are going to copy this html the nav html and we are going to add it to all the pages of that website so if we copy it then back in this page we are going to add it to the top of so if you remember in the previous tutorial, we used this HTML semantic tag, the main, to indicate that this is the main content of the page. We saw that the nav also is another semantic tag which we can add to the top of our page. So this is going to indicate that this is the navigation for this page. We can add, we are going to add this nav as well to all the other pages. Copy, we are going to go to the index.html, that was the CSS. We add it to the top. And if we go to the HTML page as well, we can add the nav to the top. And if you see if 
So if you open it in our browser, we see that this is the nav we just added to the different pages. In the index.html, this is the nav we added to the top. And in the browser, we see that this is the nav. It's not actually styled. If we take a look at it in all the other pages, we are going to notice that this nav bar is not styled. And it's not styled because we, did not, we have not yet copied the CSS we used to style it from the other from the other project. So we are going to go ahead and copy that CSS. So if we head back here to copy the CSS, we are going to copy the styles we applied to the nav bar. We copy it. So if we head back to this project in our styles of CSS, we are going to paste the styles for the nav bar here. And if you see, if you take now you look back at the you see now web browser, we now see that the styles for the nav bar has been applied. So we have the nav bar on this index.html page. We have the nav bar in the HTML page itself. And we are going to have the nav bar as well in the CSS page. And all of them are styled because we copied and pasted the code there as well as the CSS. We know that in all the pages of this website, in the index.html, the main HTML element is surrounding all the content of the web page. If you go to the other page, the CSS page, we see that the main HTML element is surrounding all the content. It's the same for the HTML page. We just added the nav so we can comment these initial navs we had on these pages. So we can comment the initial navs we had on these pages. That's for the HTML. The CSS, we are going to comment this nav as well. We didn't it. It's not defense. So I'm going to comment this other nav as well. So since as we know that the main is surrounding all the content in this page, we can style the main as well and we can make the page look a lot better. We come to our styles.css and we, we apply some style set to the main so that the content looks a lot better. So what we want to do is we want to give some padding, we want the, the main to have some background color around it and we want to make it stand out from the other content on the page. So what we are going to do is we are going to give some padding around it, the top, the bottom, left and right. And give it some background color as well with a border videos to make it look a lot better. So if you go back to our code, so we're going to grab the main HTML element. We're going to grab the main HTML element. We're going to give it some padding. So let's first of all give it a background color to see how it looks like. Let's give it background color of let's just see white and see. If so we see now that the, this, the main content has some background color, but we see that the white is actually too close to the edge of the, the text or the content in the main is too close to the border. So what we can do is give it some padding so that it moves away from the border. Give it some padding around the element. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to come here and give, give it some padding to the top. And we don't actually need padding to the top because I believe there's some space at the top. Can just give padding to the left and right, padding to the left, right, and bottom, padding to the left. Here. Let's give it a value of let's just say 15 pixels. With some padding to the bottom, bottom, we can just give a value of let's just give one pixel, just to make it a bit significant, just a bit, and some padding to the to the right, to the right. Of let's say 15 pixels as well, and if we see, if we see now that the content in the in the body stands out, in the main stands out is has some some padding to the around it, and the, the content is not too close to the to the edges of the main. So we can do some styling as well to this main. Let's just give the background color of the main to be the same as that of the nav bar. So. Let's take the color of the nav bar, background color of the nav bar, which is this color, and let's give the same color to the main and see. So we see that it looks more more uniform. The color of the nav bar and that of the main, the color of the main and that of the nav bar, the same. We can give the main as well some border videos to be that of the same as that of the nav bar. Give some border videos. Of five pixels as well, and we, we get that border videos. So to make the nav bar stand out a lot better, we can give we can give this background color around it to be something else. Make the background color around the, the nav bar and the, the main to be something else so that it stands out a lot better. So let's just come here and change this background color in the body because it's the body that's that this background color we see here is the background color of the body. So if you change that linen color, which is the background color of the body, and give it something else, something darker, 
So if we click here, we go over here and we give it something darker. Let me see. So we see that the, the, the website is really starting to take shape. It looks a lot better. We see that the navbar stands out from the main content of the web page. So we can go ahead and continue. So if we take a look, we know that this, this nav links on the website are not actually working here because we have not linked the different the different pages to the to the links we see here. We have to link them related to the different links we see here. So what we have to do is that present. So we are going to go to our index.html. And if we see here, the first link which is the link to home, it's now actually pointing to the home page. The HF, the HF has to be relative. Since as we are in this the same folder, my the index.html. The home page is the index.html, so it's in the same folder. Dot slash, then you put index.html, it's in the same folder. For the next link, which is the the HTML page. The HTML page is inside the pages folder, so we have to move into the pages, the pages folder before. So we have to go to dot slash, go to pages, then you go now into the HTML page, dot HTML. So that's how we get the HTML page. For the CSS page, the CSS page as well is inside the pages folder. So we have to go into the pages folder as well. Pages, then slash CSS. For the JavaScript, we have a JavaScript page. You can just leave the link there. It has nothing to do. So that's for the for the HTML page. And if you take a look now in our browser, the different links for this page are going to be working. If you click here, you see that it navigates also the HTML page. If you click here, it navigates also the CSS page. But these links are not changing. And that's because we have to also change the navbar for the different HTML and CSS pages. So we are going to go to those pages. So if you come to the first page, which is the HTML page. In this HTML page, the link which is actually selected, the link which has to be selected, has to be the HTML link. So that we move to this page, it's actually the link which is selected. And in the CSS page, the link which has to be selected has to be the CSS link. Because this, I'm not paste here. The link which has to be selected has to be the CSS link. So those are the two changes, two main changes we have to do there for those two other pages. But we have to also change their HFs as well. The home page relative to the CSS page, which is inside this pages folder, you have to come out of the pages folder where the, the CSS page is. So it's going to be dot dot slash slash index dot HTML. And this the HTML page is at the same level. The CSS and HTML page are at the same level. So it has to just be dot slash HTML page and the CSS is the same thing dot slash css so it's, it's the same thing we are going to do in the html page it has to be the same so in the css page and the html page are the same level so here for the home it's out of the folder so you have to move out of the html page dot slash and in the index dot html the html page is on the html page the same level so html page and the css page is at the same level as well so css and if you save now go back to our browser you see that when you are at the home page you get a background color around the home if you move to the html page you get the background color around the html because it's the html which is selected and if you go to the css page you get the background color around the css so we now have that cool nav bar with the whole page type and navigation needs to move different pages on our website so guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you know you, go, you got value from this tutorial, consider subscribing to this channel. As well, if you like, I appreciate that a lot. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.